I just want to take a moment and pray for those who are sick. Right now we want to pray for those who have pain in their body. We want to agree right now together that the Bible says if God did not spare His Son but gave Him up for us, with Him He will give us everything else. For those people who have sickness and for those people who have pain, I want you to right now see yourself as the one that Jesus carried pain for. Every pain you can experience in your body, Jesus experienced many, many times more. Not to prove to you that He feels it, but to prove to you He took it. Listen to me again. Every pain you can experience in your body, Jesus carried in Himself. Not to prove to you that He understands, to prove to you He took it. It doesn't take big faith to believe for a big miracle. It only takes big God and He's already here through the Holy Spirit. And so right now as we are going to pray in this prayer, I'm going to ask you to place your hand upon the sick part of your body and you are going to just ask Jesus together with me, ask Jesus to touch your body and to heal your body. Miracles happen when they are asked. Miracles don't happen when there is need. And so if you dare to ask God, He will be faithful enough to answer your need. He can heal high blood pressure. He can heal problem with the hearings. He can heal, heal problem with the back. He can heal problem with the knees. He can heal the problem with the eyes. And we've seen that happen this year. Many, many different things where we've seen God heal. Not only on the trips, but even in our services where people, where one person could not hear in one ear and then God opened that ear and they started to hear. And we heard of even last week and weeks before where people have digestive system problems and they were healed. My sister who had kidney stones and for five days she was in the hospital and came to the retreat and those kidney stones, they dissolved. That's what our God can do and right now we simply put our trust in Jesus. As we put our trust in the doctors, we put our trust in the doctor named Jesus. Amen. And so right now I want you to place your hand upon the sick part of your body. If you're not sick, I want you to stand in faith right now. Don't stand poking your finger. Don't stand looking around, but stand in faith that somebody who stands beside you, who may be in excruciating pain, that the Holy Spirit will touch them tonight. I want you to make this faith declaration with me. Say, my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Say, my body is not for sickness. It's not for disease. It's not for demons and it's not for curse. Say, I rebuke every disease. I rebuke every sickness. Say, I rebuke every trace of darkness in my body, in Jesus' name. And I command it to leave in Jesus' name. I command it to be gone in Jesus' name right now come on open up your lips right now just begin to rebuke every disease we rebuke kidney stones we rebuke depression we rebuke right now all kinds of cysts in the body in jesus mighty name everybody just raise your hands whatever you were placing your hand right now i want you to raise them up and just begin to say jesus i thank you that you are my healer jesus i thank you that you are my deliverer jesus i thank you that nothing is impossible to you jesus i thank you that you started a work inside of me and that you will complete it i honor you right now you are my healer you are bringing healing to my body you are bringing restoration to my body in jesus mighty name we pray in jesus mighty name we ask everybody said Amen. Amen. Those of you who are praying right now, I want you to test your body. Whenever you couldn't bend, I want you to right now begin to bend. Those of you who had problem with your shoulder, I want you to begin to move your shoulder. If you had problem with your neck, move your neck. If you had problem with your headache, just, you don't have the problem with your headache. And so whatever the pain that you had, I want you to touch that part of the body where you had pain right now. And just trust that Jesus will touch your life in the name of Jesus. Alex mentioned that you, uh, after prayer, that you received the healing. Yes, yes. Uh week ago I went to the doctor I've been struggling for high blood pressure for over okay how long you had this high blood pressure for over a year okay it will go back and forth back and forth and I went to do a uh, physical and stuff and my blood pressure was 130 130 over 80 and I got to thanking Jesus in there okay so 130 and 80 what does that mean it means it's, it's real good okay. I'll have from uh, 159 160 over 100 110 wow. yeah it's real good and so, it, and she looked at me and she said, what you say? I said, thank you, Jesus. I said, you don't understand that I've been going through this over a year, trying to get rid of this high blood pressure and stuff. 
And so God healed me. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Amen. 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 Is there, before we, before we dismiss, is anybody else who even right now when you received prayer, you've noticed the change? Um, I've been experiencing lower back pain for over two years. And I got into a car accident um, four months ago where my car was completely totaled. But I didn't have a scratch on my body uh, except extreme shooting back pain. And it got worse. Um, and I wouldn't be able to bend it back. And today I was able to for the first time in two years. So can you, can you bend it right now? So you wouldn't be able to do that without pain. And how do you feel right now? Amazing. God is so good. Got saved and healed in the same night. That's what's up. Come on, God bless you. Hallelujah. Is there anybody else? Anybody else who you, you, you touched your body? Tiffany, what's going on? So uh, for my whole, practically my whole life, my um, joints, they hurt. Um, they're very tense all the time. And so I just feel a release in all of my, like my knees and my ankles and my wrists. Well, <laughs> why am I not? Because it's just a fact. It happens. So it's really good. Come on. Come on. Amen. I've been having back pain for probably a week and a half, two weeks now. I hurt my back at work. And um, even during prayer last week and this week, I'm jumping up and down. It's been painful. I couldn't bend over or anything. And we were just praying, and my wife was holding my back. And afterwards, it just doesn't hurt anymore. Can you do something? Okay, get up on the stage. So can you do something you couldn't do without pain? I, I couldn't bend down and touch my toe. Okay, can you do that right now? So, that, that, does it hurt? Wow, come on. We've been praying for two weeks. Thank you, Jesus, for this awesome miracle. Be healed in Jesus.